Hello world! Welcome to another video of Build It with Ryan. I'm your host, Mr. Ryan. How are you doing today? In this video, I am going to show you the update on my design challenge, The Great Wilds. I am almost done with completing the upgrades of the residential buildings, and I will do some touch-ups in this video before I submit to this design challenge. So as you can see, I can upgrade this one last residential building over here. It's a green value style building and I'm going to upgrade it. Um, in this design challenge, I only build three types of building. I build the uh, Cactus Canyon style building, the green value style building, and the Latin American style buildings. Um, I am going to rearrange some of these buildings, uh, put it in a better location uh, so it looks prettier. And um, I also added, since my last video, I also added uh, more forest around my lake down here. And I add more landscape stuff on this corner. I add the corp circle, old water mill the Dutch windmill and the ship fields over here and I also add two golf courses at this corner on the right hand side and I also added as the requirement of this design challenge we need to add two buildings for gambling so I just add this to the most iconic casino that I have in my storage I have this House of Space Casino and the Omega Casino on this end. And I also added two parks over here. One is the Pride Festival and the other one is the Lantern Festival. Just to fill up the space, as you can see. And I put my design is like a symmetrical design for my city. I obviously have my Christian garden in the in the middle. And I put the casino city park on the left hand on the left hand side and on the right hand side and in the front so that it make it look a little bit more asymmetrical and I put the parliament park in the front the deluxe plum bob park in the middle and I moved the music festival in the front before I kind of put it in the back but I now realize that it kind of looks more lovely if it's like in the front and uh, I keep the Omega University and then kept the rainfall forest at the end. Okay, so right now all the residential buildings are upgraded to the maximum level. And I am going to just rearrange them a little bit so that make it more look a little bit more organized. Um, before I do that, let me just hide my, my golf course so that I have a little bit more space to rearrange this building. First, I'm going to move my Latin Americans home. I, I think I'm might going to put it in the back side over here so that I don't want to block my Pride Festival and my Lantern Festival over here. So I'm going to move the, the uh, high-rise building in the front um, so that it because when I do the do the pictures to submit, I am going to do it at an angle like this, so that this side is my front and then this side is my end. Um, okay, let me see. I'm gonna move this one because this this uh, cactus canyon zone over here because it's like a corner, like a corner look. It kind of look cute in in this little corner and I will move this another Latin American home over and I might gonna move this building over to here and lastly I'm going to move this big chunk of building over here and I'm gonna leave this building in the front the sandstorm mansions this is my favorite Cactus Canyon style home so I will leave it in the front and I will move this one in here so that this kind of like three building are the same style just like sitting in the back over here and 
Let me see how it looks like if I put my, put my Green Valley Zone at this corner. Actually, I don't mind that. I think it looks pretty good over there. Okay, I, I don't mind it at all. I'm going to move this Green Valley Zone on here. And move it this one over here. And I'm going to move the Latin Home on this end. Okay, I think this looks cute. Actually, I might change the location of these two buildings. Just move it over and see how it looks like. Sometimes you kind of like need to play around with it, just like put it in the place that you want to see to see if you like that area or not. Um, I kind of don't like it over there. I like this green valley zone in the front. So I move it back in the front like this. And move this in the in the back. And then over here, this, this butterfly tower is my least favorite of Green Valley Zone buildings. So I am going to move it in the back. And then I will move this one in here. Because this one, I think it looks more lovely. Yep, it is. And then I'm going to move it in the back over here. Because the back... It's kind of like facing out this way, so it looks okay. All right, I think that's it. I think that is how I'm gonna place all my residential buildings before I submit. And before I forget, let me bring back the golf park. Back, okay. Now it looks pretty good. I want to do a little bit touch-ups in the front, in this little lake park in the front. I would like to bring some more landscaping items over so that I will go to uh, my capital city. I have some items over there that I can use. All right, my capital city. I have something that I can put on top of the water, like this gardens. Storico on the water. This would be really cute in the design challenge. And I am going to take this steamboat out to put it in the design challenge. And I'm gonna go to my Cactus Canyon. So to take another boat, I want to put two boats over there on my design challenge. Hmm, I wonder if I can use this one too. Fountain on a lake. That actually would be really cute if I can somehow put it in. Let me just grab it first, just in case I can put it on the design challenge. Okay, we will see. So right now, the only place that I can put the... Let's, let's place the boat first. Let's go to landscape. Let's put the boat in here. Just make that abundance look in your city. You know, it's kind of like, it's a little bit too big. I feel like, let me see, it's over here. Okay, I just want to put as many items as possible in this city. Uh, so hopefully people can vote for me. Um, let me go here. I'll put the fountains over. I don't think we have space for the fountain in the lake to put in, so I might gonna skip that idea for this time. Maybe next time I can utilize that. Okay, that might not be a landscape item. That might be a um, mayor pass item. So. I will put the gardens over here so it looks really pretty in this area and I will let me see if I want to move the boat in the in here actually it's not too bad if I put it in the middle because I, I like that look of the asymmetrical look of the city so I might actually leave it in here 
will bring my steamboat out as well. So right here. Let me push try to put it over here. It's too hidden. Okay, great. Maybe I put my steamboat in the middle. Let me see. I'm gonna leave this over here. Maybe one on each side because I have I kind of like the look of asymmetrical. So maybe just one boat on one side, lake. Okay, I think this is pretty good, and then I can submit it. But before um, I saw the water park over here, maybe I should bring my water park to replace this camping camping because I already have one over here. So it will reduce some, um, or it will reduce some, some redundancy. But I kind of don't like this hot spring over here. I don't like the look of it right now. So maybe let me just move it. I'm gonna put the water park at this corner instead. Okay. That is prettier. I think that is pretty right? To put the water park over here instead of the hot spring. Yeah, and then I so that I will keep this camp captain camping over here. The uh, total idea of this I of this design challenge is I wanna bring as much as green over over here, as, as much as water, as much as lake in, in this put as much as lake in this city. So right now like it this way right what do you what do you guys think and yeah and I like my secret gardens over here my countryside station and I also put the um, Christian tent over here so let me see I hit all the checkpoints on this design challenge I am ready to submit, but I will wait for the sun to come out to submit this city because at night it doesn't look that well. I feel like it looks prettier when the sun is out. So yeah, I'll wait for the sun to come out. But what do you think? Oh, what do you think about this design challenge that I made over here? How do you like it? How, how are you doing on the design challenge? Are you participating? Leave me a comment below to let me know. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.